Brock. All right. Well, first of all, thank you, Professor Roy, soldiers, uh, for having me come out and speak to you about education benefits. My name is Ron Turner, and yes, I'm with the Department of Veterans Affairs, but didn't come to talk to you about any so-called benefits. What I did come to talk to you about today was education benefits. Education benefits versus student loans. So you're probably saying, well, what's the difference? Well, there's a big difference. On average, in the United States, there's about 250,000 graduating high school uh, seniors. They want to go to college. Okay? Uh, some, they will take out your standard student loan. Uh, and some, they have benefits that they may not even know about due to your military service. Okay? Uh, now, many of you prior to uh, joining the military, you had that dream of going to college. Right? Uh, but due to maybe financial constraints, GPAs, or even SAT scores, um, that dream, it just didn't really happen for you. Okay, so uh, you decided on making the military, you know, your career choice. Okay? And uh, I do want to let you know that you still have a dream of getting that college education. Through your military service, dedication to our country, you've earned a couple different types of benefits uh, that can be used to fulfill those dreams. Uh, so let's talk about some of those benefits uh, versus your student loan. Okay? Uh, student loans, they are always available. Okay? Uh, and plain and simple, that's what they are. They are loans. Okay? Uh, don't forget that. They are loans. Okay? And which means that they must be paid back. Okay? Uh, generally within six months after graduating, then you start paying back your student loan. Okay? Uh, the biggest problem for some graduates is they still don't have a job upon graduation. Okay? Uh, and they can't they cannot begin those repayments. Okay. Six months, graduation, start paying back the student loan. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing about the student loan is that's putting you right into debt, coming right out of college. Okay. So uh, let's look at two, two other options uh, you may or may not have, may, may or not be aware of that you have. Okay? Uh, the first one is your post 9-11 GI Bill. Okay? And the second one is vocational education benefits. Now, there is a difference between those two. Okay? We'll talk about that. And the first one we'll talk about is your post 9-11 GI Bill. The post 9-11 GI Bill, uh, that's an educational benefit which you contribute up to $12,000. Then the Department of Defense uh, they then, in turn, will match that with another $24,000. Give you a total of $36,000 in education benefits that you can use within a 10-year period. Okay? So you have 10 years to utilize that, but if you do not use that within a 10-year period, then those benefits, they just, they, they're gone. Okay? Uh, after, uh, after that, uh, you also have um, your educational benefit that you may qualify for, which is uh, your voc re vocational rehabilitation education benefits. Now, that particular benefit, that's an awarded benefit. Uh, it's not an entitlement. It's simply saying that you, uh, you have to have a rated disability of 20% or more to qualify to apply for that particular education benefit. The beauty of the book rehab program versus your post 9-11 is simply this. You will still get the same quality education 
as a student who's utilizing post 9-11 GI Bill or student loan. There's no difference in the quality or quantity of education that you will be given. Okay? Uh, the biggest difference between the Voc Rehab and the post 9-11 GI Bill is all your equipment, books, fees, laptops, whatever supplies that you may need, those are, those also come along with that rehabilitation program, okay? Because you're being retrained in a field, a new career field, outside of whatever it is that you've done in the military that you can no longer do as a civilian, okay? So whatever your dream, dream was, prior to joining the military, you may have done that job, and you may still want to do that job, and you still may qualify for those additional benefits, okay? Uh, those benefits, unlike the post-9-11 GI Bill, those benefits, they cannot be given to your family members. Your post-9-11, you can transfer that to uh, your sons or daughters. They can utilize that benefit. If you do the vocational, they cannot, okay? That cannot be uh, transferred. Another benefit with your voc rehab and your post-9-11 GI Bill is that you will receive a monthly stipend until you graduate, okay? Uh, now this monthly stipend that you receive, voc rehab, you never have to pay that back, so yes, you will be paid to go to school to further your education, to further your career. Post 9-11, you'll be paid the stipend, but out of that stipend, then you still have to pay for your books and fees and tuition, stuff like that, okay? So, uh, so looking at your student loan, which is always going to be there. You can always take out student loans and always go to debt, which is going to take money out of your pockets. You have benefits. So prior to saying I'm going to school, research the benefits. That's why I, the first sergeant asked me to come out, speak with you on today, so it will get you to think about those benefits. Now, if, if you've done everything that you wanted to do, in your military career, and your dream has passed, pass those benefits to your children so that their dreams can also be fulfilled with your military service, the benefits that you have, that you've earned, or either contributed to, those benefits can be utilized to further the education, and you don't have to worry about picking up those, that tab six months after graduation. Okay. So, in closing, veterans, now that you know about some of the benefits that you have for education, follow your dreams, get the desired education that you once had, and if that dream is passed, pass the dream on to your children let them get the quality education that they deserve. Thank you.